Henry and Mudge and the Funny Lunch, story by Cynthia Rylant, illustrated by Carolyn Bracken, in the style of Susie Stevenson. Mother's Day. One day in May, Henry and Henry's big dog, Mudge, were playing kickball with some friends. Kickball was better than catch because no one had to pick up the drooly ball. Suddenly, Henry remembered something. Mother's Day. Henry and his dad always made a funny lunch for Henry's mother on Mother's Day. One year they made a tomato snowman. Another year they baked a sweet potato shoe. Mother's Day was only a day away. What would they make for lunch this year? Let's go find Dad, Mudge, Henry said, heading home. Mudge shook hands with all of Henry's friends before leaving. Mudge had very good manners. Henry's father hadn't forgotten Mother's Day. When Henry got home, his dad was making a grocery list. What are we fixing for Mother's Day lunch? Henry asked. Henry's father smiled. Something juicy, he said. Mudge wagged. He liked juicy things. Something crunchy, said Henry's father. Mudge wagged again. He liked crunchy things too. Something you can really stretch out on, Henry's father said. Something juicy and crunchy that you can stretch out on, Henry asked. What in the world is it? A pineapple sofa, said Henry's father. Mudge wagged and wagged and wagged. Juicy and crunchy and sofa were some of his favorite words. Shopping. Henry and Mudge went grocery shopping with Henry's father. The grocery store owner was a cousin of Henry's father, so he always let Mudge in. Mudge loved grocery shopping. He got crackers as soon as he came through the door. While Henry and Henry's father bought things for a pineapple sofa, Mudge walked around and sniffed. He sniffed and sniffed and sniffed. He sniffed the fruity puffs. He sniffed the cocoa chews. He even sniffed the fishy flakes. No one minded because everyone in the store loved Mudge. Babies gave him their suckers and grandmas rubbed his head. They were all glad to see him. Soon the shopping was done. Henry and Mudge and Henry's father headed home. Henry and his dad laughed about the pineapple sofa they were going to make. Henry's dad said that maybe it should be a sleep sofa. He said that maybe it should pull out into a watermelon bed. Henry giggled and giggled. He loved making funny food. Yum! On Mother's Day, Henry and Henry's father got to work. They kept pineapple cushions. They fixed marshmallow pillows. They made an apple father, a peach mother, a plum boy, and a kiwi dog. Then they set everything on top of a giant chocolate bar and served it to Henry's mother. Happy Mother's Day, said Henry. Yum, said Henry's mother, clapping her hands. She shared the pineapple sofa with everyone, then gave each of them a big kiss. Later, as they rested on their real sofa, Henry's father said to Henry, what if next year we do a french fry cat? Mudge wagged and wagged and wagged. The end.